So uh, our class schedule this week. So remember, Sabbath Sunday is bi-monthly. So the next time, I believe, will be May 24th that we'll be having the, yes, uh, May the 24th that we'll be having Sabbath yoga uh, on Sunday. Uh, Power medals with me every Monday, 6.30. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday is Tina's class at 6.30. Uh, Wednesday with Kate, we have metal Pilates, which sounds pretty cool, at 6.30. On Friday, we have metal bar at 5.30, so it's a little earlier. All right. Uh, and as always, uh, our PayPal is Tina at blackmetalyoga.com. And the Venmo is Black Widow Yoga, easy enough to remember. And the recommended donation is $6.66. And remember, everyone, that's only if you'd like to. Uh, certainly, I know a lot of people are out of work right now, so it's uh, definitely optional. So, welcome, everyone. So, we'll start laying flat on our, on our backs in bound angle pose. So, the soles of the feet touching together. If you have any blocks, sometimes it's comfortable to support the legs with the blocks. And we'll start. Controlled breathing as we work into the class. We're trying to push away the stress of our days and just being present to the moment and present for the next uh, about 45 minutes for the class. We haven't started the playlist, we can be started now. I'm going to do the same. And slowly we're going to make our way, we're going to place the soles of our feet onto the mat. Then we're going to come into bridge pose. Then we want to drive through the hips, lift up, give the uh, core a good stretch in the front. I like to interlace my fingers underneath me. Kind of get a little bit of chest open. Here. I'm just staying in this pose. It shouldn't be much effort. Uh, another place so I, I actually have some yoga blocks coming into the mail uh, and I've been a little bit delayed. But um, one of my favorite places to use blocks is actually in bridge pose. I like to tuck it underneath my tailbone. You get a similar benefit keeping the shape. Otherwise, we can use our hip flexion to just kind of extend them to the ceiling. Slowly lowering onto the mat. We're going to come over into tabletop. We're going to do some cat cow tilts to warm up the spine. So now we're stacking joint systems in tabletop. Shoulders over wrists. Look, uh, look behind you, you can sure you can't see your toes. Now letting the belly hang soft, lifting the crown of the head up from near the cow. Pulling belly button the spine, rounding the back, coming into cat pose. Just work your way between the two. No one to keep up with. Just take what you need from the pose. Working with your breath. Remember, in a vinyasa flow, it's breath with motion or with movement. Finding some stillness. We're going to extend the left foot back, keeping both hands on the mat. We're just going to do a, a little bit of a glute workout here. Lifting the leg and lowering it to about hip length. Lifting and that contraction in our glute and lowering the leg. Maybe doing 10 pumps at your own pace. Staying with your breath. And finding stillness, coming through tabletop, switching to the opposite side. And again, 10 pumps at your own pace. Maybe do a couple more. If we did a little more than 10 on that set. 
And when we get to the top, hold and squeeze for a second before lowering. And a nice strong muscle contraction there. And meeting back and tabletop. Adding a little more to the pose, extending the left leg out. Reaching the right arm forward, coming into bird dog. Most often it's been called sunburn before. We're using our core here to balance, maybe for the belly button and the spine, extending the crown of the head to the front of the room, creating length in the spine here. Driving through the heel, keeping that foot flexed. An option to stay here, we're coming to a crunch flow, bringing elbow to knee, and extending, driving the heel, reaching the hand. Elbow to knee, extend, we'll do three more. Elbow to knee, extend, elbow to knee, extend, elbow to knee, and extend. Finding stillness, switching to the opposite side. Driving through the right leg, reaching the left arm out. Elbow to knee. Extending, we're going to do five. Elbow to knee. And extending. <sighs> Staying with our breath. Elbow to knee. Extending. Elbow to knee. Extending. Very good. Coming back into tabletop. Tucking the toes under. We're coming to our first downward facing dog of the practice. Maybe it's your second yoga practice of the day, so I don't want to say your first downward facing dog of the day, right? So do what you need to to kind of warm up in the pose. You wag your tail side to side. You come up on your toes. That's my rep counter there, my right heel, if you can hear it. You may grip the mat with our fingertips. You know, this is definitely a strength pose. It's not just a, you know, your yoga teacher say it's a resting pose often. I know how much Tina hates that. And when, when you're here, this concentrate on pushing away in the pose and zipping up through the abdomen. You know, it's not just about shoulders and hamstrings. And on walking feet to hands. We're going to hang the forward fold of your choice. Personally, I'm going to face the camera here. I like starting off with ragdoll. Now when, now, when you're forward fold, keep your head nice and heavy. Keep any tension you have on your neck. Maybe if you're taking ragdoll, you feel some extra tightness in your hamstrings. Rest the ribs on the thighs. If you want to activate a little more straight in the legs. Maybe play with coming up on your feet a little more, trying to stack hips over ankles. Releasing the hands, reaching and rising. Exhale, forward folding. Do a couple half salutations. Inhale, zipping up through the abdomen, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Driving through the feet, inhale, reach and rise. I'm building some fire now. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And hands to the mat. Coming to a high plank, you need up or down is an option. Hogging in the elbows to the sides. Inhale in the back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walking or hopping feet to hands. I'm going to face sideways now for this next one. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Drive through the feet, reach and rise. Nice big stretch. Exhale, forward folding. Zipping up through the abdomen, halfway lift. Maybe using Uyana Bamba here. 
stretching, straightening the spine, crown of the head facing the front of the room, shoulders away from the ears, creating length in the spine. And hands to the mat now, high to low push up, maybe even picking up a leg while you do that. To up the difficulty a little bit, exhale forward fold. I'll give you a chance to balance it out if you like the leg lift. Walk or hop, feet the hands. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, forward fold. Drive through the feet, inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, forward folding. Lifting up through the abdomen, hands to the mat. Coming through your flow, leaning downward facing dog. Remember, any time in the practice, we can always skip the vinyasa, you know, the, the chaturanga to upward facing dog. Just meet me lower in uh, downward facing dog. A walk, hop, or flow, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Add more to our flow now. To sit back in the chair pose. In sun salutation B, if uh, any of you are used to taking Baptiste uh, yoga practices. So now, as much as I can, I'm going to come on my seat a little bit, try to stack knees over ankles, and then try to sit back into my seat. Maybe pick up your toes off the mat. And show me strength in this pose. Exhale, forward fold. Driving through the feet, reaching and rising. Exhale, forward folding. Inhale, the halfway lift. Hands to the mat. High to low push up. Meeting the endowment facing dog. Bringing the right foot up in the three legged dog. We're going to come to the tiger stretch we've been in the last few practices. So I'm going to start hovering right knee, right elbow. Drive the heel back. Left knee, left elbow. Again, the obliques involved a little bit. Driving the foot back. Stepping forward, we're going to come into crescent lunge. So remember, crescent lunge is similar to warrior one, except my foot. Keep an eye on the camera here. On the ball of my foot, the heels over uh, the ball. The heels over the ball of the foot. And start with like warrior one arms. Maybe interlace the thumbs. Should do some little back bending to the pose. If you're doing any back bending, just make sure you're not straightening that front knee. Keep integrity in that front leg. We're releasing back to warrior one arms, coming into warrior two now. Flattening the back foot. I'm going to straighten the front leg. Pull to the front of the room like someone's grabbing my wrist. As soon as we go as far as we can go, I'm going to reach my right fingertips to the mat. And extend that left arm up. So you have some joint stacked here. My left fingertips, left wrist. Shoulder to shoulder, all the way straight down, creating a nice straight line. Now reaching the left hand to the mat, coming into our twisted pyramid. And come back, we'll come back into regular pyramid again. And again, reach for the mat. Really think about our obliques here, our twisting abdominal muscles. One more time, pyramid pose. Excuse me, triangle pose. Reaching left hand to the mat. Twisted triangle. Coming up on the ball of the left foot, we can transition out of the pose. Both hands frame the foot, sending that right leg back, coming through the flow, meeting a downward facing dog. Opposite side now, 
left leg, three-legged dog, left knee, left elbow, drive that heel back, left, excuse me, left knee, right elbow, drive the leg back, step to the front of the mat, coming to a crescent lunge, we do the same thing on this side, interlace the thumbs, into a back bend. Releasing the hands, warrior one arms, coming into warrior two. And back foot parallel, back edge of the mat. Straightening out the front knee, pull into the front knee, wasn't grabbing our wrist. Tipping over, coming into triangle. And again, we're gonna come into twisted triangle, inhale. Right hand to the mat, exhale. Twist the triangle. Back into triangle pose. Activating those abdominal muscles. Exhale. Twist the triangle. One more time, triangle pose. Exhale. Twist the triangle. Driving through the feet. Back to warrior two. It's a different transition this time. Cartwheel the hands to the mat. Onto the ball of the foot. Coming through our chaturanga. Or just meeting the downward facing dog. And we're going to go through something similar to that again. Walking the hopping feet to hands. Inhale the halfway lift. Exhale. Coming back into chair pose. Remembering the same cues as before. See, I like using video here. In the studio, I teach a normal as a mirror. So it helps me stack my knees over my ankles as much as I can. Here for a couple more breaths now. If you feel any bowing in your lower back, pull belly button to the spine. We all have strong cores to practice yoga, right? Exhale, the forward fold. Driving through the feet, reaching and rising. Exhale, forward folding. Inhale, the halfway lift. Hands to the mat, high slow push up. And inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg, three legged, uh, three legged dog. Now coming into that tiger flow. Right knee, right elbow. Drive that heel up. Right knee, left elbow. Drive that foot up. Step into the front of the back. Coming into crescent lunge. Our warrior one arms, flatten the back heel, coming into warrior two. We come to a dancing warrior flow now. And inhale, straight in the front knee, touching my hands. So exhale, we come to a deep expression of warrior, warrior two. Challenge yourself, find that edge. Inhale, hands to touch. Exhale, dancing warrior. A nice deep stretch here. Create your own flow now. <sighs> Working with your breath. I'm sure you, the mic's picking up my rep counter in my right ankle. <sighs> Finishing the one you're working on, medium warrior two. Cartwheeling the hands to the mat. Going through your flow. We're meeting the downward facing dog. Opposite side now, left leg, three legged dog. Left knee, left elbow. Drive that heel. Left knee, right elbow. Drive that heel, step into crescent lunge. Nice and strong. 
here for a breath. So set that sturdy foundation. Flatten the back heel. Back foot parallel back into the mat. Warrior two. Straight, uh, straightening the front knee. We touch the hands. Dancing warrior. We're trying to come to a deeper stretch in the pose. A little past the ankle if you can. I did shoulders and traps at my home gym yesterday. And I'm really starting to regret it while I go through this flow. Staying with our breath. Needing warrior two. Cartwheel the hands of that. And we'll go for our flow. Meeting downward facing dog. Walking or hopping, feet to hands. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, sitting back into our chair. Here for just a couple breaths. Exhale, forward fold. Drive through the feet. Inhale and reaching and rising. Exhale, forward folding. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the mat, high small push up. Come through your flow. We're meeting the downward facing dog. Inhaling the right leg up. Coming through that tiger flow again. Right elbow, uh, right knee, right elbow. Drive the heel. Right knee, left elbow. Drive the heel. Stepping up this time into warrior one. Square the hips to the front of the room. Nice warrior one arms here. We're gonna come into a humble warrior flow now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inhale. Reach through the fingertips. I do that. I'm going to engage that Uyana Bond, the belly button, back the spine. Then exhale, hinging at the hips, still keeping my core engaged. So I like to call it, then you can start going through your flow down your own pace. It's almost like a standing crunch. We still have that contraction. A lot of the abdominal muscles in the front here. Really focus on that crunching aspect of this pose. You'll really get a lot more out of it. You're consciously flexing the abdominals. Finding stillness, meeting me back in warrior one. Hands to the mat. Coming through our flow. We're meeting downward facing dog. Coming through to the other side now. Driving that left heel up. Left knee, left elbow. Drive that heel. Left knee, right elbow. Okay, that twist in motion. Again, it's pressing the heel up. Stepping forward. Coming into warrior one. And square the hips in front of the room. Relax shoulders. And now we'll come to that humble warrior flow again. So inhale, reach to the fingertips. Exhale, humble warrior. Now on this side, you know, I often uh, hear this called a moving meditation. When you think about it, meditation isn't always just sitting in like Sukhasana. We're sitting quiet with our thoughts. Those of us who are kind of type A, we like to move. Now I think of the yoga practice as a whole as a moving meditation.
and me back in Warrior One. Inhale through the fingertips, hands to the mat. Come through our flow. We're meeting down with face duck. Skipping the chair this time, or at least for now. Drive that right heel up. Step it to the front of the mat. Coming into crescent lunge. If you have a nice sturdy foundation here, bring your hands to heart center, twist to the right side of you. Now notice in this pose, it's certainly harder to breathe. Taking conscious breaths. If you feel yourself slouching for the leg, push away from it. Option to stay here or open your twist. And really using our obliques, keeping our neck in a comfortable position, either looking at the mat or looking at our thumb. Hands to the mat now. Coming into Warrior Two, flying the back heel. Palms to the ceiling. Inhale, reverse our Warrior. Exhale, come through Warrior Two. Into our extended side angle. I always like to add a little more core to this pose. Pick up that bottom hand. Use that core strength to keep you upright. Driving through the feet back to Warrior Two. Cartwheel the hands to the mat. Vinyasa to the other side. Left leg, three legged dog. Step it to the front of the mat. Strong here, crescent lunge. Feel nice and rooted. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, twist to the left side. Option to open your twist. Hands down to the mat. Both hands are the front foot. Flatten the back heel. Heel to heel alignment. Warrior two. Reverse our warrior. Palms to the ceiling. Inhale, reach that left arm up. Coming through our warrior two. Forearms to thigh. Extended side angle. Add a little more difficulty to the pose. Bringing both arms up. Driving through the heels, back into the warrior two. Cartwheel the hands to the mat. Come through your flow. We're meeting now we're facing dog. Very good, everyone. Just keep time of time here. And walking or hopping, feet to hands. Inhale to half or left. And I know I, I said uh, I'm not sure if it was quite yet, so we're going to do it now, though. And back in the chair. So sorry, everyone, if you're sick of the chair. I still like to pose a lot. Inhale, hands on heart center. Coming to that Thunderbolt twist, which I think is a really cool name for that. <laughs> Twisting to the right side of the rope. And staying with our breath. Because the twisting poses are harder for us to breathe. Opening our twist now. Keep in mind our knees, making sure one's not popping out more than the other. And coming into a forward fold. Any forward fold of your choice. Maybe grabbing the opposite elbows and hang. Inhaling back into our chair. 
hand talk center, twist to the left side. Opening our twist. We're finding strength in our pose here. Finding strength in our awesome power pedal, right? Exhale, forward folding. And then taking Velocina or Deep Yogi Squat. I'm staying here, hands to heart center. We're going to catch our breath for a second, do it a hip opening. Now, an option, you can either stay here with Velocina, or if you'd like to try some crow, feel free to do that. So I'll start from this side. So uh, if you haven't done crow pose before, it's an arm balance on the flats of our hands. It's a nice slippery mat, so it should be fun. Coming onto our tippy toes, knees to tricep. You just tip and touch, just hold your feet together. And if you feel like you're falling, fall on top of your head. If that's a little hard for you, just kind of practice going into the pose, all right? So we keep our hands flat on the mat. Just kind of practice coming into the pose, kind of roll and getting a little bit of momentum as we come into it. Then eventually, maybe just practice with another one. You'll find the confidence just to come right into the pose. Body stillness. We'll be back in Malasana. Driving through the feet. We're going to come into goddess pose. It's a little wider leg. Arms and cactus. Not to play with the difficulty of the pose. I'll start by coming up on one leg. Those caps popping out, right? And the other leg. If you really want to go for it, come up on both toes. Staying strong here. You can find strength with some lightning speed guitar solos coming on. And embrace that shake. Flattening the heels, stepping up through. Awesome job, everyone. Be back into flow now. Inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Hands to the mat. Coming through our chaturanga. We're meeting downward facing dog. And we're going to drop onto our knees. And see flat on our backs. When this class is flying by, I don't want to take abs away from you guys, right? So we'll start. Hands behind the head. What we're going to do is, we're going to inhale, bring the knees in. The exhale, drive the heels up. Take another inhale. Exhale slowly. Control below the feet. Inhale, chest knee. Exhale. Drive those feet up. Embrace the shake. Take an inhale. Exhale slowly lower. And really targeting those abdominal muscles. Really thinking about them as you go through this flow. For that a couple more times. Inhale. Knees to chest. Exhale, inhale, exhale, knees to chest. I'm going to support your own pace. No, it's one point out controlled motions, then doing it fast. Knee hugging, knees to chest. 
we roll on your little back a little bit. Finding some stillness. Keeping our knees to us, hands behind the head. And I do this a lot because I kind of like this pose a lot. So I'm going to keep my right elbow on my right knee. And extend that left leg out. And I'm going to pump 10 times. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Switching sides. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hug both knees to your chest. Awesome job, everyone. Coming back to a seat. Just come back in a downward facing dog. Make sure we get pigeon pose in. I don't think we got pigeon pose in last week. So I'm going to start by bringing my right leg up, the three legged dog. Bring the leg out in front of me. Sensing the fingers, Spider Man. Really come up nice, proud pigeon, like those ones we see in New York City, right? Really sitting down, really feeling the hip flexors stretch and extend, creating a length, and then slowly lower, hot than that. Staying here. Couple more breaths coming up onto our toes. Driving that right leg back. Switching sides. Left leg, three legged dog. Bring that left leg in front. Standing the right leg behind you. Tensing the fingers. Stretching the hip flexors in the right side. Really feel that gear creating left. And also give a nice stretch to our glutes here. And lay it down onto the mat. And just enjoy the deep stretch. Not everyone knows I teach yoga at this time. So sorry about that, everyone. I'm gonna come out of this pose. Coming back into that proud pigeon, up onto the ball of our foot. Drive that left leg back. Coming back into downward facing dog. Onto our knees. We can take camel pose. Do the abdominals a nice stretch after we just did all those uh, abdominal like kind of crunching like motions, right? We'll start one side at a time. If you do full camel, please feel free to go for it. I'm going to start my left arm up. I'm going to reach my right hand right heel. Again, really extending the hips, driving through the hips to get a nice deep stretch. Really feel a lot lower back contraction, shortening the muscles in the lower back, shortening the muscles in our hip extenders, like our glutes, our psoas. Slowly, carefully, make our way out, switching sides. Or if you do full camel, and God bless you for doing that, by the way, feel free to just stay there. Just 
slowly, carefully come out of this pose. And yeah. see. Oh, yeah. wow. And uh, since someone's microphone came off of mute, so just uh, be wary of that, everyone. So I'm going to come into boat pose now. Yeah, Miss Amy just sent me that picture because I sent her a picture. Of you. A <laughs> Make sure that person's muted. <laughs> I gave up because my stomach is like my stomach. All right, everyone. Sorry about that. I hope you didn't have to stay in boat there all that time. If you did, good job. If you came out of boat, please come back into it. You can start with your knees bent or legs extended. And pull and chest through the arms. Staying with our breath. And slowly having a seat. Very good, everyone. Loose some seated forward folds. Inhale, reach through the fingertips. Exhale. Forward fold over the legs. You should still feel some of that contraction of both pose. Slowly coming out of that, coming back into staff pose. We have our arms lifted, tucking the left leg in, forward folding over that front leg. And first, I like to add a little to this, I take it twisted. So if you want to try that, I'm going to go left hand, right foot, I'm going to thread the needle. So I'll do it easier to face this way and demonstrate it. I'm going to thread the needle and reach for that left knee. Slowly coming out of that pose, transitioning to the other side. Extending the left leg. Bring in the right leg, or whichever opposite, if you made a mistake, don't worry about it. Inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, forward fold over that front leg. Coming right hand, left foot, left hand, thread the needle. Reach for the right knee. Remember, this is just an option. You can see I'm not perfectly flexible. I can't perfectly grab my right knee. If you feel better just doing the regular seat forward fold, feel free to do that. Remember, the suggestions to up or down level, each of the poses, those are options. It's all offerings for the community. I think that side was way longer, so we're going to come out of that now. Lying flat on our mats. We're going to just do some spinal twists to end the practice. We'll do it the long way. So I'm going to bring my right knee to the chest. Bring it across the body. Using the right hand to kind of encourage a deeper stretch. Feel great stretching there, especially your right glute. Really rolling, twisting the body, kind of like bringing out a dish towel. Switching the sides now. Left knee to the chest. Left leg across the body, twisting, gazing to the opposite side of your twisting. Maybe you're using that left hand to encourage a deeper stretch. And you can stay here as long as you like, or come into Savasana. 
any other poses that you might like to take before entering Savasana, please feel free to do that. And otherwise, palms to face the ceiling, lying flat on our backs. Reflecting on our practice. And as always, I usually like to say, being appreciative of, of, of our bodies and the amazing things we can do for them. And thanking yourself for doing something positive with your day. You know, taking a yoga class for your physical, uh, mental, and spiritual well being, whatever you take from it. And then give yourself a pat on the back, you know, figuratively or literally, if you'd like. And stay with your breath. If you'd like to make your way to a comfortable seated position, I just want to thank you, uh, thank everyone for participating in the class today. They're all great. I love seeing uh, all the videos on. It makes it feel a little bit more like a studio where I get to uh, at least see all, a little of uh, all of your amazing practices. So uh, great job, everyone. Bring our hands to heart center. Bow and say namaste. And thank you, everyone. I hope to see you again next week. Thank you. You're very welcome.